Good morning. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at some back-to-school stuff. They're already putting this stuff out. They started right after Independence Day putting this stuff out. And I really like to come over and look at this stuff early before it gets all messy. If you've ever shopped for back-to-school stuff, you know that it, it gets disorganized very quickly from people digging through it and stuff. So we're going to take a look. Now, they are stocking more stuff on some of these aisles, but we're going to look at what, what we can. Now, this aisle here has stuff like, this is like um, a fancy binder. It's called a zipper binder. It's made by Five Star. Um, you see it has this nice uh, material and then a zipper pocket on the outside. And it has little compartments on the inside and they come in different colors and designs. And it's almost like a, a fancy trapper keeper almost. <laughs> um, and here you can see, that one's cool, I like that. And then we have tons of dry erase boards, all different sizes. You can get these little ones, like this would be perfect to go in a locker probably, or on the side of the refrigerator. And it comes, it comes with a pen and some magnets. And you can get these cute little dry erase markers. How cool is that? And they have little erasers on the top. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is neat. This is, um, it's a frameless dry erase board, and it comes with these little magnet um, dry erase markers. That's really cool. It's like a nice little compact size. It's $4.82. Let's try to stay there. And then up here you have all the markers. These are magnetic, magnetic dry erase markers. They have the little magnets there. all different types. These look like they're all pin gear and then you have Expo markers here. I got a really good deal on Expo markers about a week ago. I was in a different Walmart and uh, they had the large size Expo markers. A, a pack of six for, I think it was $2.79. I bought, I bought four packs. I thought that was a really good deal. It was like these but it was a pack of six. I think they were two seventy nine. I don't. I thought it was a. Yeah, I thought that must be some sort of mistake, but that was the price, so I grabbed them. My knowledge. People just throw stuff down in here. It just kills me how they just just throw stuff down. It doesn't go here. And then they have dry erase board calendars. Great big calendars. That's a huge one here. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, and then you get over here and you have all these cool rulers. That's a, a metal ruler and it has a cork board thing on the back. It's pretty nice. And these, they're all like that. Oh, a little cute stapler. <laughs> and just loose staples for 97 cents. Hole punch. Desktop stapler. I like these cute little handheld, the soft grip staplers. Those are neat. Those are uh, $4.44. Swing line. I wonder if they have a red one. <laughs> That's a pretty color. I like that. And then, ooh, these are fancy scissors. Oh, um, this is a scissor lanch. It'll fall. These are nice. I like these with the rubber grip handles like that. I have some Westcott scissors, but they're they're more like these right here. I use them in the kitchen all the time. They work great. I think I killed it. There we go, I got it. And then we have calculators. Um, a giant thing, a hand sanitizer. This is always on the list of stuff to get. I always get a big bottle of that for each for each kid. Um, oh, a, therm a thermal laminator. And then you can get these cute little boxes of little gold and silver office accessories or a giant box of binder clips. Well, you get a hundred binder clips for $4.97. That's pretty good. Post-it notes. Got a 
golly, that's bright. <laughs> Let's go over here like that. And then they have the generic, the pin, the pin gear ones are cheaper. Um, and then we have little containers of index cards that are, these are hole punched and have a little ring on them. And look at all these binders. You can get binders in every size. Now this is one thing that I always try to get early. As soon as I get my kids' school supply list, I come in here because the binders, it seems like the binders are one of the first things to go. Um, and usually they need one of the really big binders, like the three inch binders. And you really have to kind of jump on it and get it early because if you don't, then they're just, they're all gone and you can't find them anywhere. <laughs> That's a two inch, because my older son needed a three inch binder last year, and I didn't see it on the list. I saw it later, and I like to never found one. There they are, the three inch, big three inch binder. These things are $10, dollars $9.96. But yeah, I, had, I ended up, I think I ended up having to order one on Amazon because I couldn't find one in a store anywhere around here. Ooh, dividers with pockets. Those are cool. These are all dividers here. You have um, the five tab dividers where you have the little um, clear plastic part here where you can put in a little tab with the subject on it. Trading card pages. Sheet protectors. I love the sound of sheet protectors. Like if you're just uh, leafing through them, I love that sound. And here we have more binders. I like these because they have a pocket, a little pocket on the outside, and you can stick, so you can stick stuff in there. So you can. I think my son actually ended up putting a big picture of a dragon on the front of his. <laughs> like okay, oh a little, a little lunchbox. That's cute. I think they have another whole section of lunch boxes. This is just, um, oh, that's precious. Look at that. <laughs> How cool. This is just a little section of lunch boxes. They do have more. Oh, I love it. Look at that one. Oh, here's one with a little cupcake. That is so cute. And the butterfly, too. I like that. And then you can get uh, just water bottles. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And, okay, I don't know what this has to do with school, but beat sync string lights. This is just like random stuff. Ooh, they have a Minecraft lunchbox. And my younger son would like that. I may have to ask him if he's interested. And now it, it wants to come home with me. Look, it won't <laughs> stay. <laughs> Dang it. What did I do? All I did was pick it up. Now it won't. Now it doesn't want to stay up, up there. It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Stay. This is a thermos. He would love that. He's had the same lunchbox for about three years. He has this little race car lunchbox that he uses every year. These are, uh, wow, there's a big cork board. Now over here, uh, the hats. I know it's not school stuff. Now they have some uh, backpacks over there, but over here you have um, a really cool variety of backpacks and I enjoy, I really enjoy looking at these. Look at this, this is so random. It's some um, little pugs and pizza. That is so precious. I love that. This is cool too. It's, uh, it's all these pastel pretty colors and it has little patches on it. And they have the little dingle ball on there. Oh, here's a black velvet one. That's interesting. And they have it in pink, too. That seems like it would just get messed up. Like, you would use that for a week or two, and then it would just be covered in just stains and stuff. Because you can't, I'm pretty sure you can't wash these things. I really like the green one, too. It's a, like satin, kind of. 
Now this one looks a little more durable. It's made out of canvas and it's light blue and white striped. I like the outside, all these little pockets they have on the outside. That's nice. And we have Wonder Woman. This one comes with a lunch box. It's a five piece set. You get a water bottle, a lunch kit, a zip case, carabiner, and backpack for $14.88. Not bad. And then they have the same for the, uh, the Minions from Despicable Me. And Paw Patrol. Spider-Man. Spider-Man sparkly. Look at him. I don't know if you can see that. He's got a little sparkle to him. He's ready for going back to school. This even has, well, it's not quite so obvious, but even the pencil case has a little bit of sparkle. And The Incredibles too, which I, actually I really enjoyed that movie. I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. Oh, look at that! That's nice. I've never seen a, a backpack like that. A little heart there. Uh, here's a gray one by East Sport. I don't see how they got away with that, that trademark name. Uh, it's like a combination of East Pack and Jan Sport. I'm kind of surprised they were allowed to do that. And it's just a plain black one, black and gray. And a blue one. I like the orange. I like that bright orange. That's really nice. It's kind of a geometric camouflage look to it. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, it has all kinds of little stuff on it. That's nice. Do they have the pineapple? They had a pineapple backpack last year that I really liked. And then these are all just like your standard um, plain black ones. And there's a there's a camouflage one down there. This one has dinosaurs on it. Oh. That's cool. Oh my God, look at this one. <laughs> that is fabulous. And then the back is pink canvas and it's covered in sequins. Oh my gosh. But now if we're being realistic, that joker is not gonna last. Oh, a Five Nights at Freddy's one. I have to ask my son about that too. He would like that. That's. That's pretty cool. He likes Five Nights at Freddy's. And then we have Sunny Day with hair. Yeah, that won't get yanked off the first day of school. Some kid walking behind this person is just going to grab this and yank it off. <laughs> I'm just being realistic. I mean, you know how it is. If you have kids in school, you know how this is going to go. Now this one, this one's got a little weight to it. This one just feels extremely light. I just don't imagine this one holding up very well. It's uh, 9.88, but it feels very flimsy. And then we have Deadpool. I don't know. I would want my kids taking a Deadpool backpack. I mean, I guess it's all right, but my kids haven't watched that. That's that's R-rated stuff. And then we have Mario. This one's neat. Look. Wow, oh my God, that's incredibly shiny. Ooh, how much is that? That's 988. And it comes with a shiny lunchbox. Get out of town, I like it. It is incredibly shiny, I love it. And then we have a little bitty one with a cute, funny little bag that goes with it. And this one is pink. I think I like this one better. This one's cool. It's pink with blue sequin stuff on it. Yeah. And then we have My Little Pony. Cute little, you can't really see it, but oh, My Little Pony backpack with the lunch box and the pencil case. And there's a water bottle. That's all right. But yeah, this one, this one is awesome. I love that. I, I would carry that today. <laughs> I would. Um, so that's, uh, that's the backpacks. 
This one's nice. I like, one thing I like about this one is that it's so big. You could get a lot in, in here and then it has the drawstring at the top. I like that. I don't know how durable it would be. That's just fabric. Um, and the pug is cool. Oh, here's an emoji thing back here. The pug with the pizza is cool too. I like that as well. <clears throat> and what we got over here, this is some, um, no, this isn't back to school. This is kind of just overflow. Look at the size of this container of goldfish. Look at that. <laughs> This is uh, 1.87 pounds of goldfish baked snack crackers, and you can get them the rainbow color ones too. Rainbow and flavor blasted extra cheddar. Like that. And you can get little packets of goldfish as well. You can get these boxes of uh, the little packets. This is some. Um, I don't know what's going on over here. It's like the, the island of lost toys of Walmart or something. They even have Pat's Blue Ribbon over here. <laughs> Beer, and then you can get Keystone Light. I'd rather gouge my own eyes out. That stuff's nasty. Oops. Sorry, I dropped my earbud case. Sorry about that. You can even get salsa over here. Chips and salsa, and whatever the heck this is. Kenneth Cole body spray. I don't think that's supposed to be over here. Which way should I go? I don't know. Good God, that's a big box. All right. And then out in the middle of the aisle, it's noisy over here. Um, I wanted to show you the stuff out in the middle of the aisle, but see, they're, they're stocking or doing something over here right now. Um, I just have to move with the people. I have to accommodate people. I certainly try to stay out of customers' way. Good golly, that's a big pack of Expo markers. Now, that's a 16-pack for $14.97. It's messed up. Sharpie markers. I love Sharpie markers. I use them all the time. You can even get a big pack of scissors. Look at that. That'd be cool, like if you wanted to get them for your kid's teacher to have some extras in the classroom. But yeah, I like to come in and do my shopping while it is still like this. Now, I could, this is reasonably sane. Like, you could still find stuff. Oh, look at those pencil case. Oh, I like that one. That, look at that. It's like a funky little tissue box or something. That's cool. I like that. They have a lot of fancy things. That, they didn't have all this stuff when I was a kid. You didn't have all these choices. <laughs> and then on the end of this aisle, we have notebooks. They always end up needing a ton of these one-subject notebooks. And see, in the middle, we have this little island here, and you can get, and the prices are pretty good. Like, you can get a pencil sharpener for 47 cents, earbud pouches for a dollar. Shoot, I need one of those. It won't be as loud if I drop that one on the floor. Glue sticks are two for a dollar. You can get tape. You can get post-it notes. It's noisy over here. Oh, and now this is a popular item, the, the Lysol or Clorox wipes. They don't ever ask for spray. Um, usually it's the wipes they want. This one even comes with box tops. That's pretty cool. I, I've quit doing box tops. I'm just over it. Um, I'm sorry. I just can't. I'm tired of cutting those things out. I'd rather just give the teacher some money to buy stuff with. And here we have, you always have to take in tissues. And I'll usually take, you, sometimes they'll have four packs. You could get four boxes. These are the three packs. And the Kinder Mat, oh my God, I remember this. This is, um, both of my kids, when they went into kindergarten, you had to provide a mat for them to take their naps on. Actually, my younger son, when he started pre-K at four, had to have one. Um, and I remember 
when he started school, I couldn't find one anywhere. Um, that is a loud ass cart. Oh my God, I'm sorry. It is, it's actually very early in the morning. And I've had people say, you need to make your videos earlier in the morning when the store is quiet. This place is never quiet. So it's, it's, uh, it's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet. And this place is already noisy. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter when I come in here. It's always noisy. Sorry. I could be in here at one o'clock in the morning and it would probably be noisy then too. But I could not find one of these stupid mats. And I ended up having to order one online and it was expensive. These are only, these are $10. But you have to, if you have a kid in kindergarten or sometimes pre-K, you have to provide a mat for them to take a nap on. And if you live in other countries, yes, I know, it's probably not that way where you are and I get it, but you know, you, <laughs> you row the boat you got. That's what we have to do here. Pencil boxes. I have probably 400 of these things at my house. Ooh, I like these bins, these book bins. These are neat. And they have a little pouch on the front where you can put little things in there, like a little label. You get five book bins for $10. Those are nice. And little class caddies. These are cute. The class caddies actually go here and a cubby bin. I love organizing stuff like this. Oh, look, I love them. A small cubby bin. That's nice. Um, hey, you can get a big box of paper. Look at that, wow. I've never had to take in a whole box of paper. <laughs> Construction paper, that's a huge pack of, look at how thick that is for $4. Uh, 210, 210 sheets of construction paper. But yeah, over here. Now this is the pack I got, like this. But they were two. They were like 279. They're 374 here. That's still not bad. But I got two packs of the all black, and then I got two packs of the multicolored ones. So I've never seen them that cheap. Uh, Post-it notes. Those are vibrant. And mechanical pencils. My kids uh, in both of their schools are not allowed, they're not allowed to bring mechanical pencils because the kids, the lead comes out of the pencil and it ends up on the floor and it, like people roll it under their feet and it leaves marks and stuff all over the floor. So they banned the mechanical pencils. Good golly, look at all that. These are gel pens. <clears throat> very colorful I get a uh, two of each color for 988 what is this oh it's a crayon sharpener that's cool that's cute oh, look I've never seen a crayon sharpener like that two for a dollar <laughs> and glue sticks oh my god the glue sticks you have to buy every year you have to send in about 400 glue sticks even my older son who's going into the eighth grade i think they're probably going to require them too what's this Ooh, extra fun number two pencils that's cool that the, you sharpen them and it's a different color that's cute oh these erasers are cute look at these adorable <laughs> I love it. Uh, and the, of course the scissors, you always have to supply the scissors. When I buy glue sticks, usually I will get them like this, just the giant pack. It's cheaper to buy them that way. Um, colored pencils, highlighters. Yeah, that's another popular item. This is a good time of year. Um, if you like to use markers for coloring or colored pencils or whatever, this is a really good time of year to buy them because you can usually get a wider variety and they're cheaper. You can get, let's see, what is it? 12 Sharpies for $5.97. That's a pretty good deal. And then they have the, the larger ones too. 
Those are 994. And we have Crayola, Crayola markers. Yeah, I always have to get colored pencils. They're only 97 cents, so that's not bad. I usually end up spending probably, wow, that's a big eraser. I usually end up spending about $40 per kid on school supplies. Um, not counting like backpacks and stuff like that and clothes or shoes or whatever they need. Did we look down here? These are the composition books. And I like the wide variety of different colors and designs they have on here instead of just the marble. But they're 50 cents a piece. And I'm telling you, get in here and get them as soon as possible because these also get gone very quickly and they don't typically restock. They don't have more. So once they're gone, they're gone. Ooh, that looks like bubbles, but it's flat. That's trippy. <laughs> Now these are more expensive, the, the, like this one has glitter on it. These are um, a little bit more. That's cool, like a shiny cover there. I just get the 50 cent ones, I don't worry about getting fancy ones. I am a mermaid unicorn fairy princess. That actually sounds kind of disturbing, like if you try to imagine that in your head, it sounds like a weird mutant thing that some evil villain would invent in his lab or something. It doesn't give me warm fuzzies. It makes me feel kind of freaked out. Got cute little keychains. Oh, I like that. That's heavy. I think those go over here. What does this one say? Follow your heart. Yeah, last time I followed my heart, I ended up in debt and living in an apartment and I'm not interested in that. We have weekly planners. I'm just saying it's not always good to follow your heart. Sometimes your heart is stupid and makes bad choices. Now see, the folders have already started to get messed up. And this is actually not bad. These, I love it when they're all nice and orderly, except for this right here. I love it when they look like that. They're like little soldiers all lined up. It makes me very happy. <laughs> but you come back here in a couple weeks, it will not look like this anymore. It will be an absolute nightmare. Um, and you, you wanna get your folders early too, because there's nothing worse than coming over here and knowing that you have to get a three-prong yellow uh, pocket folder and you can't find them because they're all mixed up. You have prong paper folders, plastic prong folders, um, you have pocket folders, you have prong pocket folders, pocket paper folders, pocket plastic. So there, there are a bunch of different types of folders and if you don't get in here early you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to find the folders that are on your school supply list. Typically, if I can, I go for the plastic folders. Uh, they cost more, but they hold together better. They're a little bit more expensive. Like, um, let's see, you can get these plastic folders for 50 cents. The paper ones are 15 cents, but the, the plastic ones hold together better. It's, it's worth the extra few pennies you're gonna pay for it. And then we have all the, um, we have all the spiral notebooks too. Oh, this one has pineapples on it. Oh, and there's, they have uh, glitter. That's nice. I sweat glitter. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, that one's pretty. I like that cover. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. There's an owl back there. There's a Camaro peeking out at me. And a puppy. <laughs> they have the five subject notebooks. And you have to check whether it's college ruled or wide ruled. And sometimes the supply list will specify one or the other. Packs of paper. Again, you have college ruled and wide ruled. I don't see wide ruled paper, just college. <clears throat> um, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of stuff. And I don't have, I don't have their lists yet. I keep checking the school's website 
for their list and they're not available yet. So this time of year always causes a little bit of anxiety because I want to go ahead and get the stuff, but I don't know yet what to get. So I can't, I don't know exactly what to buy yet. These are cool little butterflies. This has the glitter on it too. It's a nice, nice feel to that. So anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit of this UV before it gets completely torn up, which it will. <laughs> In a couple weeks, it won't look this nice anymore. So I wanted to get, I wanted to show you a little bit of it um, while I could. So thank you for walking around with me and looking at the school supplies. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again later.